Good evening. This is Gardner Selby. I'm the chief political writer for the American Statesman. Uh, from the early exit polls uh, prepared by CNN, we know some things about what voters are caring about today. Uh, for instance, almost 62% of voters think the economy is the biggest issue coming out of the polls today. Three in four voters think the country's on the wrong track, with only 10% singling out Iraq as their biggest concern. Um, as we watch the returns come in tonight, you can count the, the electoral votes from each state, but I've got a little bit of a cheat sheet, a shortcut for you. I recommend watching only this conglomeration. Are you ready for it? This conglomeration, Florgini Osylvania. That would be the states of Florida, Virginia, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. Why those states? They only comprise 81 electoral votes, and that's 8% of the total. But the first three states, Florida, Virginia, and Ohio, were won by Bush four years ago, with Pennsylvania taken by John Kerry. It's very important to both candidates that they do well in those states, and that might signal which one is going to ultimately prevail by the end of the night. I've got more about Texas in a second, but I wanted to share with you something I gathered from talking to someone in John McCain's camp out in Arizona just a moment ago. Uh, besides reporting beautiful weather out there, this person said the campaign remains upbeat. Uh, they believe they've been gaining in some western states, including, including late breaks in Colorado, New Mexico, and Nevada. Uh, this individual said there is still quite a bit of optimism here. And then they shared that there is concern, however, about what they believe to be possible voting irregularities in Pennsylvania. Remember, that was one of the states I singled out a moment ago. Uh, supposedly, some McCain voters have been intimidated, and then uh, some arrived to find voting machines early in the morning where they believe votes had already been cast before they got there. I want to stress here that that's an unconfirmed report, and in fact, when I checked with the uh, Pennsylvania, uh, uh, Philadelphia Inquirer, a newspaper in Pennsylvania, they said they had heard nothing of the sort as of this hour. Uh, that, so that's at least a concern in McCain's camp. Back in Texas, we are approaching nearly 70% turnout today if Secretary of State Hope Andrade is correct. That's 9 million voters who will have cast their ballots at least uh, today or in early voting. That's a big number, but it's still not a record. The record turnout was set in 73%, which was 73%, was set in 1992 when George Herbert Walker Bush sought re-election as president against Bill Clinton and Texan Ross Perot. Uh, so we know now that we're going to have a high turnout, but it still not, might not be a record. Uh, Andrade, when I spoke with her today, told me she'd be happy if more and more people voted early. Uh, in Travis County, for instance, we had half our voters vote early this time, before Election Day, and she'd be happy to see that number go up in the future, even at the risk of the unforgivable gaffe, as we discussed, which the idea being that you vote early, and then you find out two days later that the person you voted for is a crook, you can't take your vote back. That's kind of a funny wrinkle of the early voting uh, parade that we're all enjoying in Texas. Finally, I don't know what you had for lunch today. I had green chili stew and came across another diner at this restaurant who had flown in from New Mexico overnight so he could vote in Austin. When he got here and waited in line to vote, he found out as he checked in that his driver's license didn't have the correct address on it. So the fella ended up going to the Department of Public Safety, staying in another long line, getting the license fixed, and going to vote. And you thought you had it hard voting today. I'll have more later.